I'm Jay from the Cubs Guys. Welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Ryoma, he's fish food. He's donezo. He's not going to be in Danganronpa 4, okay? He got clapped pretty hard in the fish tank. I have no idea who did it, but we're about to figure it out right now. 50,000 likes on this video, and we are going to get into the second class trial. But no more talking. We got to get into detective mode right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because there we go. Hey, Shuichi, you got a sec? We just started the game. This dude asking if we got a sec? Huh? Huh? What's wrong? I mean... Before we start the investigation, there's something I gotta tell you. Right. You're my sidekick from now on. Whoa, 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 hey, hey. I think you got it twisted. You are my sidekick. Huh? You're my side bitch, actually. Your sidekick. You know... I'm more of a scientist kind of guy, so I'm not really cut out for investigations. But that's a good quality to have for an investigation. Listen up. Plus, the only stage fit for Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars, is the universe itself. <laughs> so I'll leave the details to you. Pave the path for my success. But uh, but I don't know what to do as a sidekick. Don't worry don't about Don't worry it. about it. I'll make all the tough calls. You just gotta do what I say. He loves to make decisions on his own, doesn't he? I mean So Leave it to I'll me. I'll take the full responsibility. Since you're my sidekick, there's nothing to worry about. Huh? Huh? Got it. Alright, let's get started. First we gotta check the Monokuma file. Uh, okay. Yes. Right. Kaito making me his sidekick like this. Could it be? I'm scared. I try hard not to be, but I'm scared. I can't stop thinking about the pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. Is he trying to help me? Hey! Hey, what's the matter? Let's check the Monokuma file already. Uh, oh, okay. right. At Kaito's behest, I looked over the Monokuma file. The victim is Ryo Mahoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. The body was discovered in the gym. The cause of death was drowning. His body was consumed by piranhas only until bones remained. No other injuries can be confirmed at this time. Just like Mew said, he was fish food one second, he's Come fish on, shit the man. next. What? There's less written here than before. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. The time of death isn't written here. Huh? Remember. The previous Monokuma file indicated Rontaro's time of death, correct? The victim is Rontaro Mami. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. The victim's body was discovered in the library. The estimated time of death is 9.10 p.m. The victim was subjected to blunt force trauma to the back of the skull, resulting in cranial fractures and immediate death. No other injuries were detected. Yeah, my guy took back shots. He took back shots on back shots, but the Monokuma file this time doesn't indicate a time of death. What? Did Monokuma mess up? No. No, this was intentional. Monokuma told us that he wouldn't give us any info that would reveal the culprit. But thinking about it that way, it implies that the info would be damning evidence for the culprit. Ah. So that means the key to this case is the time of death. Well, <laughs> there you go. I knew I picked a good sidekick. There's one more thing in the Monokuma file that catches my eye. Ryoma's cause of death. It says drowning, but if that's the case, we might be able to unravel the case from there. Monokuma file 2 has been added to the... Alright, All right. now that we're done with the Monokuma file, we can get started on the investigation. My first command to my new sidekick is... Investigate everywhere and find clues that will lead us to the culprit. He's pretty commanding, as I expected. We love a bossy bitch. Not really, though. Let's talk to Kurumi, since she's standing up on top of the fish tank. Hey, can uh, Kaito stop following me, please? Dude, breathing down my neck with his hot-ass hey. breath. You were helping set up the show, right, Kurumi? Did you hear anything about the trick? I do not agree. No, I did not hear a word. Furthermore, my help consisted of sewing the banner and curtains. So I do not know the details of her trick. Well, you know what? Out of anybody here, she's the one who was bombarded with the most tasks in this game. Like people were asking for one thing, another thing, to do this, to do that. So she could have been the most likely person to set up Ryoma's death. But I'm going to not point the finger at her yet because I like her character, first of all. But yeah, Danganronpa, you can't get attached to characters. But she's the most likely suspect to be doing this stuff outside of uh, Angie and the uh, Atua girl. Hey, everybody. Editing Jay here. I just realized my dumbass said Angie and the Atua girl. They are actually the same person. Forgive me, I'm still new to this game. I meant the magic girl. I hope they both die. Uh, let's continue with the video. I see. So I got my eyes on her, you know? Watching her like a hawk. All right. My first command to my new sidekick is... Listen up. You shut up! When I stood on stage and looked up, the piranha tank was directly overhead. It was set up so that the bottom would open when the timer had reached zero. The bottom is open now and the tank is empty. It doesn't look as though it had a lid. I can see the ceiling straight through. And only the front side is glass. The other sides are made of wood. So the piranha tank had no lid, and only the front was made of glass. Hey, so... Oh yeah, that tank was from Himiko's research lab. Ugh. Hey Kaito, you helped carry supplies for the show, right? Got it. Yeah, me, Kibo, Himiko, and Angie. It was a lot of work. 
but I just helped carry it. I wonder how they hung it from there. You know... It was a heavy tank full of water and piranhas. It couldn't have been easy to lift. Is... It seems this is where the lighting batten for the gym is attached. Ah, oh. oh, Kurumi. Seems... The control panel on the side of the stage allows you to raise and lower the batten. It seems they lowered the batten, attached the piranha tank to it, then raised it again. Hmm. hmm. I never knew lighting bands were sturdy enough to lift a tank like that. That is correct. Since it was built to lift heavy objects, it was probably very sturdy. Okay, I didn't know that it could do that. Oh, but it's been added to the... That's some silencer type stuff on the gun, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so I don't think that Ryoma was in the tank with the piranhas, because if so, the piranhas would have been chomping on that ass from the get-go. So let's see if we can look at anything up here. What's that? Closed curtain. There's a curtain covering it, but I believe there's a window on the other side. What's the matter? What's the matter? You want to check that window out? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, but... Ah. Oh, it's too high up to reach, huh? Yeah, it is pretty high. Even higher than the piranha tank. Higher than the piranha tank? Yeah. That's right. There was a ladder next to the stage. I'll go get it. That's where Ryoma's body was thrown from. Somebody put his body through the current, yeeted his ass into the fish tank the same time as the piranhas went down, and then bada bing bada boom. Kaito quickly headed off to the stage. He returned carrying the ladder that was set up beside the stage over his shoulder. Hey, so but you know, shouldn't the sidekick be the one bringing the ladder? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Thank you. After setting up the ladder on top of the stage, I climbed up the rungs. You can just barely reach the window with this. And if you open the curtain, oh, the window is open. Is it the pool area? If the window's open, does that mean the culprit used it? Okay, so I guess I was kind of right two episodes ago where I said maybe somebody might have died through the windows inside of the pool area. The culprit may have gone in and out through this window. So what's on the other side of the window? I can't see much, but I think it's the pool. The king. The pool, huh? I heard we had one here somewhere. All right, let's check it out later. The culprit probably went through there. Okay, so we gotta go to the pool area and investigate there too. Oh, wait. What is this? What is what? Hmm? What's up? Show me. Tell Nothing. me. It just looks like marks on the window frame. Fingerprints? Skid marks? The window frame has distinct abrasions. Perhaps scratched by something. This might be related to the case. I should remember it. Mark window frame has been added to the I apologize, everybody. My bowl cut made my headphones come off, made it slide clean off. So, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I climbed down from the ladder to the stage. Hey! You done investigating the window? Then I'll go put the ladder back. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you, Kaito. Jeez. Shouldn't the sidekick be doing this? He complained, but he still put the ladder back for me. Yeah, because you a little bitch. I've investigated everything I want to on the stage. Hmm? Huh? We all done here? Then let's go. Okay. Yeah, okay. This dude thinks he's the boss. He really thinks she is sweet, but little does he know. Near the water tank. Let's investigate that. It's the large water tank from the escape trick. The glass is broken. It's in bad shape. Come on, man. Did you guys really need to break the glass? Everything's soaked now. But... Well, if we had left Ryoma's body there, we wouldn't have been able to investigate. What, piranhas eat bones too? That's right. I guess it would have taken way too long to just empty the whole tank with a bucket. Okay. It was a lot to clean up, but at least we can investigate the tank now. There might be a clue around here. I should take a closer Got look. It. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I see some handcuffs there. Kinky, are we? Because we broke the glass, there isn't much of anything left in the tank. But I should investigate the area thoroughly. There's bound to be something. All right, first of all, let's get these handcuffs out the way. Handcuffs. Why are there handcuffs here? Still locked. And there are small scratches on them. The cuffs appear to be stainless steel, so not too hard to scratch. They must have been scraping against something hard or sharp. Huh? What are those handcuffs? Were they in the tank? But I've never seen handcuffs in the warehouse. Where'd they come from? That's true. There weren't any in the warehouse. So where did they come from? If they weren't in the warehouse, another place that might have handcuffs is... Could it be? He's a prisoner? Ryomo's lab wasn't just for the ultimate tennis pro, but also for the ultimate prisoner. So perhaps some element of that was in his lab as well. Scratch handcuffs has been added to the... Boom! Boom, boom, boom! Alright, so let's check out Bucket. Cause fuck it. It's a bucket full of piranhas. Dead piranhas. They got no water. Gonta said that he picked up all the piranhas and put them here. I can't believe Gonta would do that with his bare hands. Ah, uh, wait, yes I can. When I think that Ryoma's inside their stomachs, I don't even feel like eating them. <laughs> Why would you even consider eating them in the first place? <laughs> Only the strong can survive in this world that Atua has created. Oh, the least we can do is pray for Ryoma's soul 
so that he may enter Atua's kingdom. I mean, if you think about it, Ryoma did enter something, and he's about to be exiting some piranha's buttholes in about two hours. Those piranhas sure were a miraculous mystery. Maybe Atua was behind those videos too. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh... I noticed it right as the show started. What a I feel like there are more piranhas today than yesterday when we were preparing. No. More piranhas? Uh... What? Did they multiply overnight? There's no way they could reproduce that fast. But, but... but compared to yesterday, the piranhas look super crammed into that tank. Ah, so they look more crammed together. Dear, the dear. water was too murky, so I couldn't tell how many more piranhas there were. Oh my. But anyway, it was super, 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 super crammed. What a super, 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 super crammed. Jeez, we get it. More piranhas than yesterday. There might be something to that. Let's <laughs> investigate Ryoma's cute little bones. <laughs> oh my guy in his cute little outfit. Ryoma's body is nothing more than a skeleton now. Not even a shadow of what he was. <laughs> what the heck is this? Hey, is this really Ryoma? I didn't see the moment it happened, so I can't believe it. Uh, I'm okay. certain of it. Who else would it be? Remember. Everyone watching the show witnessed it. We saw Ryoma become nothing but bones. Yo, Damn. they cleaned that shit right off. Like, they cleaned his whole skin. I can't believe he died in such a gruesome way. Well. The water filled with blood so fast, we didn't see the whole thing, thankfully. But this skeleton is unmistakably Ryoma's. Jeez. Jeez, I know he wanted to die, but he didn't have to actually go out and do it. No. No, I don't think that's right, Kaito. Ryoma wasn't trying to die. He said as much. He was jealous of us, who wanted to live. Huh? huh? What do you mean he was jealous? Hmm. I'm positive that Ryoma wanted to join us. That's why he needed a reason to live. So that he could have the same feelings we do. So that he could have a reason to keep going. To fight alongside us. <laughs> then, he was a real idiot. Who cares if you don't have a reason to live? Can't your reason for living be something simple like good food or your friends? Damn, Damn it! That idiot! Are his bones going to be added to the thing? No? Ryoma's belongings are all gathered together. His clothes, his monopad, the key to his room. Oh, that's it. If we use this key, we can investigate Ryoma's room. Mm -hmm. Huh? What's in his room to investigate? Remember. The motive video. We should find out whose video Ryoma had. Oh. Then you think Ryoma was killed because of that video? No. I can't say for certain, but we should check just in case. Although, he might have had my video. If that were the case, I might be a suspect. Well, no point thinking about that for now. My first command to my new- Will you shut up with that? Okay, what are we gonna look at over here? Because apparently there's something that I need to investigate. Glass panel, there you go. Huh, there's a square pane of glass at the bottom of the water tank. It doesn't look like a broken piece. The other fragments are far more random than this. It's nearly impossible for the broken water tank to produce such a perfect square of glass. Then what exactly is this pane? Square glass paint has been added to the... Alright, let me talk to the people. Let's talk to you, Sugumi, or Sumugi. If Himiko doesn't tell us how the trick works, we won't know how Ryoma was killed, right? But with the way she is, how do we convince her? Could it be? Oh, what if... Ryoma was a former apprentice of Himiko's master and vowed revenge on him. And he murdered a lookalike of himself in order to sabotage her show. Yeah, that's it, Sumugi. Shut your ass up. Yeah. Or something like that. It's happened before, probably. All right, you know what? This girl, she out of her damn mind. I'm glad Himiko made the game more difficult. Now I won't be nearly as bored. Right. Time to work hard to solve this mystery. Get ready, culprit, because here I come. He's lying, dude. He's lying out his freaking purple-headed ass cheeks. How can this be? Gonta could have saved him. No, Gonta should have saved him. What happened? Gonta, what's wrong? <sighs> when piranhas attack Ryoma, if Gonta had dived into tank, then Gonta could have helped Ryoma. But Gonta got scared. Too scared to do anything. If he jumped in the tank, those piranhas would have looked at him like filet mignon. Gonta. Sorry. Idiot. Gonta, really sorry. Come on, man. A man shouldn't apologize so easily. And even if he had jumped in, they would have eaten you too. That's true. And from what I read in the Monokuma file, you couldn't have saved them anyway, Gonta. Huh? Oh, really? Does it say that in Monokuma file? You know... You haven't even read the Monokuma file yet? Gonta, Gonta don't smart, read! Dumbass. What are you talking about? If you've got time to apologize, if you've got time to read the file, if you think you can't help, then work till you can. That's what you can do. You're right. That's right, Gonta. You're a huge help. Literally, he's a huge guy. He's a huge help. There's some info that only you know after all. Huh? Info? Only Gonta know? Remember. Remember, during the show, you went up on the stage. That was about 20 seconds before the piranhas dropped, right? 
Mm. Yeah, because Gonto worry about Himiko. Could it be? Did you see inside the tank? Did you see Himiko or Ryoma? No. No, Gonto see no one in tank. Gonto kind of surprised. Oh, you can't do that. We're still in the middle of the show. But if Gonto do nothing, Himiko get eaten by piranhas. Huh? Okay, maybe Himiko disappeared under know. that glass pane which connects to outside of the tank. But when the piranhas were dropped and the curtains open, Ryoma was in the tank, right? Um. Yeah, that's right. So. Then when did Ryoma get in there? You didn't see it happen? Oh. Gone to don't see. know. Everyone see Ryoma in tank when piranhas dropped in. After that. Sorry. Sorry. Gonta should have watched Tank better. Dumbass. Like I said, her man shouldn't apologize so easily. Um. Yeah, you're right. You know. But this is a problem. Now I'm even more stumped. Even if Himiko disappearing was part of the underwater escape act, how did Ryoma get into the tank? Was that part of Himiko's trick? I'm positive that mystery will be an important point in this case. Gonta's account has been added to the. Okay, who are we gonna talk to? Cory Kenshin Kyo? However, I never would have imagined such a cruel murder happening at such a fun show. Why did the culprit commit such a barbaric act? Did they wish to see us panic? No. I don't think that was the sole motivation. There was some other reason for it. And that reason must be related to Himiko's magic show somehow. I see. So that means the culprit knew of Himiko's trick and made use of it, yes? If that's true, did Himiko tell someone? Someone who thinks the trick is actual magic? Well, then. Since the show was used, we must investigate the trick as well. Okay, you know what? I think we have to talk to Tanko. Kyo murmured almost to himself, then walked to the back of the stage. Is there anything to investigate backstage? Um, Let's follow him. We should investigate the entire area anyway. We followed Kyo backstage. See, I knew that we could rely on Cory Kenshin Kyo. Always coming up clutch. Listen. Since the show was used for the murder. Okay, we're going to. I saw this rope here. This was a pretty long rope. What was this used for? To let Ryoma down one last time? <sighs> I estimate it is roughly 65 feet in length. You can tell just by looking at it. But of course. I am well versed in ropes. I once visited a village where their use was commonplace. <laughs> when it was time for me to leave, the women of the village all begged me to stay. I find that deeply disturbing, but I have to focus on the investigation. Anyway, what is this rope? Could this be related to the case? Hey, wait, 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 wait. More importantly, what were those women asking you to stay for? And what did they want to use that rope for? You feel me? The staircase goes up to the top of the stage. At first glance, there's nothing particularly sus about it. There might be some trick to it, but only a magician would know. Yeah, but the magician is not telling us her secrets. Okay, let's look at the large water tank from the back. There's nothing strange about it from behind, other than the large size. It's a normal tank. I see. All sides of the tank seem to be made of a special type of glass. I see no hidden doors. <laughs> Very mysterious. How, I wonder, did Himiko escape from the tank? That's right. Well, if we figured it out easily, it wouldn't be a magic trick. However... I believe that if we figure out the route Himiko took, we will discover how Ryoma got in there. That is true. There's a high probability that they used the same route to reveal how Ryoma got into the tank. I need to reveal how Himiko managed to get out of it. Okay, maybe instead of getting dropped out from behind the curtain, Ryoma came out from underneath the glass pane. That's how I think it worked. But is there a secret door here? Why is this different color? Hold on. What am I looking for? I'm confused. Did we talk to Kaito? Is there something here? Nah, let's decide that after we search it. Investigate anything that stands out. Huh. Um, puddle! There you go. That's what I'm missing. This isn't a puddle from when we broke the tank. The floor around it is completely dry. Perhaps someone who was wet was here doing something. That's true. Changing wet clothes? But... But how would you get from the water tank to this place behind the staircase? Could it be... This may be a vital clue for understanding the underwater escape trick. I think there's a door underneath the stairs! Check the stairs! Yo, check it right here! Oh my god, it looks like there's a door, like a hinge! Yo, are you serious? Let me talk to Mew. She's one of the few people that I haven't hey. talked to yet. Hey! Flemwad! There's something I need you to tell me. That's not a very polite way to ask someone for something. You know. It's got nothing to do with the incident, but I heard Gonta captured you guys last night. <laughs> what the hell was that all about? I was running around, so I got no clue what happened. Got it. Oh, yeah. Tell me, too. I was also running, so I still didn't know what went on. 
How did Mio escape from Gonta? She's not strong enough to fight him. Why you? Chop, chop, you slimy shit! Uh, well, um... I suppose you could say that Gonta was tricked into kidnapping us. The first ones to get captured were Kibo, Kyo, Sumugi, Tenko, and I. Himiko and Angie were brought in later. Huh? From the gym, right? Okay. Exactly. And Kokichi left the room after around 9 p.m. So they must have been brought in about five minutes before that. If I remember, we were all forced to participate in Gonta's insect meet and greet. We were freed about an hour into nighttime around 11 p.m. So from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., everyone there had an alibi. And then those people without an alibi are me, Kurumi, Maki, and Ryoma. <laughs> I see you learned what an alibi is thanks to the previous incident. But what the hell is this insect meet and greet bullshit? <laughs> Why? By the way, Mew, how were you able to get away from Gonta? Huh? Oh, um, well, I had to use my secret woman weapon, and let's just leave it at that. Huh? Secret woman weapon? Oh, does Wait. she mean her big old bazongas? Hey, what's a secret woman weapon? Okay, I think she means weapons, plural, you know? Is she trying to laugh it off? Come on, man. Puichi, let's just leave her be. Listening to her will just tire you out. You're right. You're probably right. Perhaps it's better to get the truth out of her at the class trial. I don't think it was her. But you never know. Insect me and has been added to the bazongas. The big old bazongas. I believe we've investigated everything we need to for now. Well, our investigation's over now, so who's the culprit? No. I can't say for certain yet. There are other places I need to investigate. Come on, man. What? You still don't know? I never thought detective work would be such work. So where else do we gotta investigate? That's... First, the pool next to the gym. They're connected by the window above the stage, so that needs to be looked at. That's true. After that, I want to go to Ryoma's room and find out which motor video he had. Then, I want to investigate the Ultimate Tennis Pro's lab. I've deduced that the handcuffs we found in the water tank probably came from there. Is that everything? Ugh. Last of all, I want to go to the Ultimate Magician's Lab. I want to know more about Himiko's trick. If we go there, I'm sure there'll be some kind of clue. Hmm. So we still got a lot to do then, huh? Good luck, Shuichi. After that, it's going to be you doing all the heavy lifting here. You're right. Ah, right. Don't screw around. What do you mean, right? Are you saying I'm useless? Is there a right way to respond to that? Hey, sometimes you just got to cut off the dead weight. Sometimes you just got to trim off the fat, and that's what Kaito is right now. So I think that Ryoma was dropped from the curtain in the pool. I don't think that the magic trick had anything to do with Ryoma's death. Huh. So this is Himiko's research lab. What are we going to investigate again? Hmm. The trick that Himiko used in her magic show. I need to figure out how it worked. You know... Well, you say that, but what if it was real magic with no tricks or mechanisms? That's... Well, that would be a problem. But it's not just about the trick. I need to ask that guy some questions. Yeah, what is that guy doing here anyway? With his shit-eating grin. Look at him. Hey, Shuichi, did you want to ask me something? Okay. I'll tell you anything you want to know. You are my favorite after all. When he says that, it sounds like he means the opposite. It makes me nervous. Every time he talks, I just think that he means the opposite hey. because he is the ultimate liar. I do actually. It's about when we were kidnapped by Gonta yesterday. You snuck into our rooms to steal our motor videos, right? But is that all you were doing? You came back pretty late. I see. I see. You want to know my alibi for nighttime yesterday. That's a good question to ask. The gym is off limits during nighttime, so Ryoma was probably killed before or after. Which makes nighttime yesterday so sus, since everyone was doing their own thing. Hey. And what were you doing then? Um. It'd be easier if I just explained step by step what happened while I was out last night. After you regained consciousness, Shuichi, Gonta brought Himiko and Angie. That was about 5 minutes before 9pm. Right after that, I left Gonta's lab and headed toward the dorms. I thought I'd be back in an hour. The start of nighttime, but something happened. Huh? Something happened. Hmm. Right when I got to the entrance hall, Kurumi spotted me. That was right after I left Gonta's lab, so it was right around 9 p.m. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. Then she started criticizing my behavior and lecturing me on my manners and relationships. Hmm. Can you believe that? I mean, who does she think she is? My mom or something? If I remember Didn't correctly. you ask Kurumi to be your mom earlier? So she just kept talking, then finally let me go at 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled around. Huh? A whole hour. <laughs> well, only the first half hour was a lecture. Then we played tag for the other half. She was starting to bore me, so I turned around to leave, and then... Please wait. Stop right there. Our conversation is not over yet. I don't gotta listen to you. You're not worthy of lecturing the ultimate supreme leader. <laughs> Come on, Miss Maid. Catch me if you can. That is... is that a request? So that means... And then, I guess Kurumi decided to take Tag super seriously. You know what I'm thinking now? Maybe someone requested for Kurumi to kill Ryoma, and she can never turn down a request because she's the ultimate maid. 
I am going to refer back to this if I'm right. And Jay, future Jay, you better come back to me because I'm past Jay now. I better be right. And then, I guess Kurumi decided to take tags super seriously. I tried my best, but in the end, she caught me a little before 10 p.m. Then she started lecturing me again and let me go when nighttime started. So, so do your alibis still hold up, even when she was chasing you around? Maybe. We ran into each other a bunch of times, so yeah, they should hold up. Then from 9 p.m. until nighttime, both Kokichi and Kurumi have alibis. <laughs> After Kurumi... <laughs> this freaking laugh. <laughs> I finally went to the dorms and collected everyone's videos. But by the time I returned to Gonta's lab, it was already 11 p.m. Then from 10 to 11, he doesn't have an alibi. Oh, oh yeah, I did see something odd while Kurumi was lecturing me. Huh? Something odd. Hmm. I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. It was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. I wonder who it was. A girl in her underwear? What the hell is he talking about? Is he talking about Mew? Kokichi's account has been added to the... <laughs> by, the by the way, you didn't get captured by Gonta yesterday, did you, Kaito? Where were you? And what were you doing? Okay. I was running around the whole time. I hid in bathrooms, bedrooms, all over the school. Hmm. Uh, I see. Okay, does he not believe him? Can he spot somebody that's lying? Because he did say that he could read people when they're lying. So maybe Kaito's lying. What were you doing here, Samugi? Um, huh? Well, I'm investigating. I know I'm plain, but it's plain to see I'm investigating. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> very okay. funny. Oh, uh, is that so? Hey, so... So did you find any clues? Uh, I'm still thinking about that. Hmm. I don't think you can uncover clues just by thinking about them. No. Um, no. In fact, I still haven't found anything. <sighs> then get to it. Looking around is how you find clues. But... But I think leaving that guy alone is just plain bad. Samugi gave Kokichi a meaningful glance. Hey! So I've decided to plainly keep an eye on him. That way, even plain old me can help out. Sure, whatever you say. Let's investigate... Hmm, what are we gonna investigate here? There's so many things to investigate. The large water tank. It's a huge water tank. It looks like the one that was used in Himiko's show. It looks like the same tank Himiko used in the show. I guess this one was a backup. That's what Himiko told me in Kibo when we carried the tank out of here. Then, then perhaps if we investigate this tank, we can learn the secret of the trick. Encouraged, I began walking around the tank. I was looking for anything that could be a switch or mechanism. Hmm. Huh. What's this? There's a segment of the tank near the top that opens up. But why open up here? Oh wait, perhaps it isn't random. Of course it's not. This segment had to open up here. Water tank trick. Why don't you tell us? What? Okay, they're gonna say that there's a mechanism there, but not what it's for. Why don't you put your hand in it or something? Okay, so we've investigated everything here. So we're gonna go to the tennis lab. Then we're gonna go to the pool. Then we're gonna go to Ryoma's room. Then we're gonna start the second class trial. You know what? Maki left during the beginning of the whole investigation. So I kind of want to see what she has to say. Hey, Maki, what are you doing here? Um, Earlier, you said that you weren't going to help us investigate. Were you serious about that? So what? You'll be fine, even if I don't help, right? You're the detective, not me. Or do you think you can't solve this case on your own? Uh, That's um... completely different. This is... Ha <laughs> ha! That's pretty harsh. But my sidekick is working his ass off. Huh? Sidekick? Got it. Yup, Shuichi's my sidekick now. Hey. Shouldn't it be the other way around? The dumb one should be the sidekick. Hey, Baki. So... Hey, that's what I'm talking about, girl. The dumb one. I'm more of a scientist type of guy, so this stuff really isn't my thing. Well, Wouldn't being a scientist be helpful for an investigation? You know. More importantly, why have you been here the whole time? Is there a reason? Like I'd know. Why do you care? I hate going in and out of Kaito's no. body because it's been bothering me. You've been in here ever since the room opened up. Almost as if you're keeping watch, making sure no one else enters. Is this an interrogation? No. No, that's not what I'm trying to do. I just want you to talk to me, Maki. If this has nothing to do with the case, please tell me so. Hey. It's true that you don't have to help us if you don't want to. Is that all right? But you should at least cooperate with our investigation. Because? Because all our lives are on the line. Is that so? Even if I did cooperate, I wouldn't be any help. Mostly because I've been in here for the last several days. I've only gone back to my dorm at night to shower, including last night. Hey. Then I can ask you this. Did you see Gonta at all last night? Gonta was searching the grounds last night, trying to capture all of us. Why? How were you able to avoid being caught? I see. Gonta did stop by, but I managed to chase him off somehow. All I did was tell him, If you lay a hand on me, you'll choke to death on your own tongue. That's all. Hmm. So Gonta got scared off by that? Well, I guess I would hold back against the girl. As I listened to Maki's testimony, a question grew in my mind. 
Why did Maki not want to leave so badly? What reason did she have for that? Hey. Are we done here? You're wasting your time talking to me. I don't know anything. Ah. Okay, I'm done here. Huh? Huh? You are? That's right. Well, her alibi is a little shaky, but I don't think she killed Ryoma. That's what my instincts are telling me. Hey, so... But if you remember anything, be sure to tell Shuichi, okay? I believe He's in my you. sidekick, you know. He's pretty good. In the end, the only thing that we were able to get out of Maki was that she was here the whole time. But no one else can verify that testimony. That might be a problem later. Maki's alone. Oh, Maki's alone? I thought I was going to say Maki's testimony. Okay, let's talk to Kurumi, a.k.a. Suspect Number 1. Hmm. Huh. What are you doing here, Kurumi? Do you agree? We all agreed to investigate with at least one other person present, yes? As she spoke, she glanced toward Maki. Hmm. Ah, so you're staying with Maki. Got it. That's good thinking. Hey, once we're done with the trial, can I get a massage? May I? But of course. Since you are here, Shuichi, may I ask you a question? The time of death was not provided, so I'm questioning everyone in order to determine it. What do you think? When was the last time you saw Ryoma alive? Uh, right um... before I was kidnapped by Gonta yesterday, around 6 in the evening. So... The last time I saw him was way before then. I didn't see him at all yesterday, actually. Then. Then you are fine, Kaito. What's important is the last time someone witnessed him alive. Well, Shuichi saw him alive when Gonta was trying to clap both of their cheeks. Hey. The last time someone witnessed Ryoma alive, that is correct. Gonta was the last one to see him alive at around 8 p.m. yesterday. Ryoma managed to avoid being captured by him by using his Shukuchi method. So Ryoma was still running around after I got captured. Yes, of course. Furthermore, 30 minutes earlier, Miyu saw Ryoma as she was fleeing from Gonta. In that case, Gonta's testimony is highly credible. Yes. Yes, we at least know that Ryoma was alive yesterday until around 8 p.m. Witnessing Ryoma has been added to the. Blah blah blah! Blah 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 blah! Blah 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 blah! blah. Blue blah. Blue blah blah! The ultimate tennis pros laugh. If I'm right, then, the handcuffs that were found in the tank came from here. And if the handcuffs came from here, that means the culprit was here as well. They may have left a trace of evidence. Maybe, baby. <laughs> This room is a little different from when we were here before. It feels off. What's the matter? What's the matter, Shuichi? No. Ah, uh, nothing. Anyway, let's figure out the handcuffs. We should take care of that problem first. Okay, can we go in the shower room? Maybe? I mean, I can go in there. So let's see. There they are, the handcuffs. Um, look, Kaito. Handcuffs hanging on the wall. Hmm? Oh, they look like the ones in the tank. Or wait, are they the same? Because. I think so. Here, look. Remember. See? One empty hook. The handcuffs we found must have been hung here. That means the culprit was definitely here. Scratch handcuffs has been added to the coming through with the big bitch! <laughs> okay, we out of here. What? I think there's some things we need to investigate. Sink? This is a pretty big stone sink. You could fill it up with a lot of water. Hmm. Huh. What's this? Hmm. Scratches on the stone. Like something was scraped against it. So... You're right. What made them? Hmm. These scratch marks are clearly not natural. They must have been made by some kind of metal. That is interesting. That's the same thing that we saw in the water tank and on the windowsill of the pool area. Okay, hold on. What else do we have to investigate here? Kaito Momota. The, the handcuffs. Okay, I think we gotta talk to Kaito. No, there's a closed window. Hold on. Let me get out of here. There's a window right behind him. This window has no vines or barbed wire or bars blocking it. And there was that one window I could see from the pool area. I told you, everybody. I told you. This is probably that window. I should open it to make sure. It is. I was Just right. I suspected. The window you can see from the pool is the window to Ryoma's lab. Okay. So we're going to find some big evidence inside the pool area. I know it. I can smell it. Huh. A pool. Huh? Wait up. We're on the third floor, so we're pretty high up, yeah? If you did it just right, I think you can jump right into the pool from here. You're right. Yeah, and you can swim at any time other than nighttime. But Look, there's scratch marks on the window still there too. It said that in the school rules and the rules in the pool area as well. Ah. I see. Well, I don't want to swim, so that doesn't really affect me. Hmm? Wait a sec. What's this? Huh? Huh? Hey, Look, so... there's weird scratches on the window frame. Okay. You're right. There are definite abrasions here. These marks are similar to the ones that were on the gym's window frame. I'm positive these marks aren't the result of opening and closing the window normally. This window frame is sturdy as well. The gym's window frame was the same way. It looks like it would hold, even with a lot of weight on it. Shuichi! Now you understand, right Shuichi? Huh? What? 
How amazing I am to have noticed such a super ultra important clue. I freaking hate this asshole. It's all in a day's work for Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. I mean, I found a pretty important clue too, but I won't say that. Yeah, because you're modest. You're a humble king. Mark window frame has been added to the... We came here to confirm my suspicion about the handcuffs found in the tank. But we found even more important clues than I expected. Together with the fact that this is Ryoma's own lab. There are too many points of concern to be more coincidence. It must be important evidence. Hey! It seems like you figured something out. You seem more confident. All right. All right. Then on to the next place. There's no point staying okay. here. Right. All right. So let's check out the pool area. The hell? Something caught my leg. That's... Oh, it looks like a cable. Ah. Is this from the tennis net? Man, whoever left this here should have put it in the corner. Wait. The tennis net? Hmm. I see. So that's why this room felt odd. I should investigate this in detail. Oh, the tennis net has been taken down, huh? Interesting. Why would that be important? The reason I thought this room felt off is because of the net. When I came up here last time, the tennis net was up. But okay. why is it down? Huh? So like, someone took the cable off? Why would they do that? Kaito, can you help me? I want to measure how long this cable is. No need. It's just about 50 feet long. Huh? What? Oh, I was in the tennis club till middle school, so I know how long the cable is. Uh, um, you were in the tennis club? That's right. That's why. It pissed me off so much that Ryoma was acting like that. Hey. Did you know Ryoma from before? Uh, I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. You know. I mean, these days, there's no one who's played tennis that hasn't heard of him. He's been a tennis legend since middle school. He was like a hero to every tennis kid. Jeez. And then, once I finally got to meet him, he became a coward. That pissed me off so much. I ended up being too hard on him. Damn. But regretting that now won't help. There's nothing I can do. So, so what's suspicious about the length of the cable? Did something about it bother you? No. No, nothing specific. I was just checking. Huh. So detectives get bothered by small details, huh? <laughs> like an overbearing mother-in-law nitpicking a young wife. Uh, what um... is that analogy? Okay, so that's been added to the truth bullets. I mean the skratatas. All right, I've searched the whole area now. I should move on to the next one. There are still other places left to search. Yeah, we still got to go to the pool, and we got to go to Ryoma's room. The pool area is the part that I want to investigate the most because I think that we're going to find the most vital clues here. Like, I already see something at the bottom of the pool right here, so let's check this out. This doesn't look like a normal school pool. More like a pool at a resort. The pool is deep, but it isn't filled up all the way. Still, plenty of water to swim in. The water level hasn't changed, but I see something floating in it. Let me check it out. Bits of fabric. Huh? There's something else floating in the pool. Hmm. It looks like a little piece of fabric. Is that from Ryoma's clothes? Jeez. It's just trash, right? Nothing to be worried about. We're looking for the culprit. We don't have time to pick up trash. Uh, okay. uh, yes, but perhaps it's just my intuition, but it does bother me. I should learn to trust it sometimes. My intuition as the ultimate detective. Black piece of fabric has been added to the... <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just trying to make a joke about him saying that we can't pay attention to the trash and can't pick it up. I'm like, I've been carrying you this whole time. This is the pool's equipment shed. I'll take a look inside just in case. Huh? Is that an electric air pump? I see. You could easily fill a large inner tube with this. There doesn't seem to be anything else worth inspecting. That's not going to get added to the thing? Okay, inner tube. There's an inner tube floating in the pool. It looks like a big, sturdy rubber one. I see. Let me guess. Some idiots didn't clean up after themselves. Rise and oh my god. Time. Gang, gang. I don't know why that shit scared me. What's up, fellers? <laughs> don't look at us. I don't like water. I prefer juice. <sighs> we get heavier when our cotton absorbs water. It makes losing weight a nightmare. I, I want to play in the water with everyone. It sounds fun. You know, Mono Dam might be onto something. I kind of want to go in the pool now. I'll do it. Yeah, who cares about losing weight? You stupid idiots. We're not here to play. We're here to smack these bastards into the pits of hell. We're the Mono Cubs, the meanest, nastiest, cruelest mascots around. Dumbass. If you don't get it, I'll throw y'all into the pool myself. <laughs> ah, please don't. Can't we all Mono Suki, along? please stop. Can't we all just get along? What? You saying that if we don't get along, I'll end up like Mono Kid? So long. Alright, so long, gang, gang. So then, it was one of us that put the inner tube there, not the monocups? Well, it doesn't matter. The inner tube probably isn't related to the case. Isn't related to the case? If it were just for playing around then, why is there a rope tied to it? What could that be for? 
That is intriguing. Maybe to jump off from the window, right? So let me check the window again. That's the window to the shower room in Ryoma's lab. Oh, okay. Well, we're not going to check that out. What about here? You can see the gym's window over there. That's the window we investigated from on top of the stage in the gym. I mean, it's pretty high up. You wouldn't be able to reach it with just a ladder. Uh, I okay. agree. The ladder only barely reached the window, and it was on the stage. Hmm. If that's the case, then it might have been hard for someone to have gone through there. Okay. Yeah, you might be right. Oh, Monokuma's here. Oh, no jumping into the pool, especially at nighttime. Whoa, Whoa! where'd you come from? Yeah. I mean, yeah. jumping itself is fine. If you want to jump in front of a car or a train, that's on you. No, no, but no. the pool is off limits at nighttime, see? No swimming at nighttime. That's That would be a violation, right? Hey. If anyone violates a school regulation, a campus-wide siren will blare. <laughs> and then that person will be ripped apart by the exizzles. What? You'd go that far? Oh, yeah. Well, so far the siren hasn't gone off, so no one needed to be ripped apart. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Um, since that's the case, can we assume no one was in the gym or pool at nighttime? Oh, yeah. Well, at the very least, no one alive. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Monokuma. That was very vital info that you just said right there. No swimming at nighttime. That just might play into this case. Pool rules has been added to the. Hey, so. Hey, Shuichi. Does this pool really have anything to do with the case? I got all psyched up about it, but it doesn't seem like there are any clues here. But. Well, that inner tube is still bothering me. I don't know what it tells us, but I feel like it's related to the case. But you know... But you know, if that inner tube is related to the case, the culprit is pretty careless. If it was related to the case, why didn't they clean it up? So... Just leaving it sitting out like that? Don't you think that's straight up careless? No. No, even if they wanted to put it away, they couldn't. There's no pole or anything around here that you could use to get the inner tube. Remember, the water level is so low, you couldn't grab the tube even if you did manage to bring it closer. Then why not just jump in and fish it out by hand? Oh, that's right. They couldn't get in the water. Couldn't get in the water. Yes, I suppose you could think of it that way. You know... Well, we can't stay here forever, right? Let's go check out the other places. All right. There's no time to waste. Isn't that right, sidekick? You're right. Yeah, sure. Bro, call me sidekick one more time, bro. Call me sidekick one more time. I don't get my freaking shooters that arrive on scooters. I swear to Buddha. This dude really trying to play me today. I don't got time for that. I got investigations. I got people that need to be avenged for their debts, okay? I got people that need to be executed. But my theory is that Ryoma was thrown into the pool from the tennis lab window, and then he was um, in the tube, right? I think that's what it is. And the prime suspect is Kurumi. She's looking pretty sus, and that's a damn shame because she's the one that I actually like. So before we finish off in Ryoma's room, my theory is that Ryoma was handcuffed, the tube was placed over him, he was thrown out the window, and he was drowned in that pool. And then his lifeless body was thrown inside the water tank the next day, and um, the piranhas got him. This is Ryoma's room, huh? So where's his video? I don't see it sitting out anywhere. Maybe he put on his bookcase? Maybe he did. Kaito opened all the drawers one by one, checking each of them. Huh? That's weird. I can't find it anywhere. Maybe Kokichi still has right. it. I see. So we can't find it. That's all right. That's a clue in itself. Uh, huh? What do you mean? Hey. You see, if we suppose the motive for the crime was the video, there's a high possibility that Ryoma had the culprit's motive video. Remember. If their motive video was left at the scene, they would be immediately suspicious. There's no reason the culprit would leave behind that kind of incriminating evidence. That's true. Okay. And the video is not in the room, which means... Got it. So it's just like we thought. That video was the motive. Okay. Yes, that's the best explanation I could think of. That's my All right. Kick. That's just what I'd expect from my top sidekick. Shuichi. What's the matter, Shuichi? No. Nothing. So... By the way, I was thinking. I mean... Maybe we all should have watched those motive videos after all. Huh? What? Nah. They showed the most important people to us, right? That's right. So maybe we should have watched them without looking away from the truth. I mean... At the time, I agreed with Kibo. But after thinking about it, I changed my mind. That's right. And if we were worried about watching them alone, we could have just watched them together. Uh, watch um, them together? Got it. Yeah, we should have gathered together and watched all the videos. Share everybody's motives. Even if it's something you can't bear by yourself, it'd be possible with everyone. Yeah. That's what cooperation is, right? Uh. That's what Kokichi was trying to do. Huh? Huh? Hey. Kokichi was trying to get us to participate in a motive video viewing party of sorts. 
That's why he forced us into the same room. Hmm. Do you think that was his way of cooperating? Do you think the same way? Nah. No, if that's what he wanted, he could have just asked us. Jeez. That's what a normal person would have done. But the thing is, he's not normal. That's right. Maybe he did want us to cooperate, but there's no way to know for sure. He'd never tell us. That's true. It's impossible to know what Kokichi is thinking. But I suppose he could have been acting in our favor for once. I feel like this game wants Kokichi to be a version of Nagito so bad, but he's just looking like a Costco version of Nagito. But we got the ding dong Already bing bong baby, so we gotta listen up. Oh, you've been tired of it for a while now? Well, that's how it goes. Investigations aren't all that fun, you see. But that investigation went by really fast. Before we can move on to the main event. Kind of like searching the internet for that perfect porno video. Whoa, 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 chill, In Monokuma. Fact, some people think the Come search on, man. is the Trying to keep this part. video monetized, you Weird, feel me? Huh? And it, the class trial is starting soon. Please gather at the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. <laughs> See you later. Shit, talking about bazongas. My guy talking about the perfect bazongas video. Shuichi. Looks like it's time, bro. Uh, yeah. Okay. Dumbass. Hey. Why do you look so worried now? Don't worry about it. Don't worry, it. you can do it. I believe in you. Believe in me. Why? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaito? There's no chance that I'm the... Idiot. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? Huh? What? Listen up. Isn't that why you believed in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but... I believe in If you. I worry about that now, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. Shuichi! Shuichi, we're still young. I can't die before I've had my first drink or gone to space. Let's if you're not going to get yourself in gear now, then when? Now's all you've got! Yeah, that's yeah, Kaito, right. Yeah, Kaito, I know. Keep your chin yeah, up. Yeah, that's the expression I wanted to see. Hey, that's my sidekick. He's right. I just have to do it. I have to believe in myself. I have to believe that I can do this. I'm going to survive. We're going to survive. Together. That's it! Maybe I don't really understand it. Maybe I don't have a reason. <laughs> I don't want to live. I want to die with everyone else. No, I want to live. I want to live a long life. I don't want to die. I can't die in a place like this. Never. All right, everybody, me and my ultimate fuckboy here are going to leave this episode here. 50,000 likes, and we are going to get into the second class trial. I kind of have a feeling that Kurumi did it, but I'm hoping that I'm wrong. I'm praying that I'm wrong, actually. Hopefully, it's a twist like with Kaede in the first trial. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this video, though. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.